We all know that Wellington is the capital of New Zealand, therefore the political power base, but it's also the cultural power base in many ways. This building behind me, Te Papa Tongarewa, or the Museum of New Zealand, is home to an exhibition that talks about an event that changed the way New Zealand was and shaped the people to the way they are today, very much in the same way it did with Australians. 8,556 young Kiwi men landed alongside 60,000 Aussie Anzac mates in Gallipoli. For most of them, the last place they saw before landing in what must have been living hell was the harbour of Albany in Western Australia. Whilst 7,954 Aussies died in that campaign, more than one in 10, the Kiwi's sacrifice was even more horrific. Sir Ian Hamilton, who led the New Zealand forces onto the peninsula, stated that 7,447 men were killed or wounded in that battle. That's why this exhibition is a must-see experience. This is a truly remarkable exhibition. There are eight giants, and this exhibition tells their story actually from their own diaries or from anecdotes and stories from their families. Each of these men fought in Gallipoli, and the reconstruction of the whole thing is simply amazing. You can see things like sweat on the brow, saliva on the tongue, scrapes on the knuckles. The level of detail is simply amazing. It took 24,000 hours to recreate this. You can't help but be touched by their stories as you walk around the exhibition. Curator Kirsty Ross has worked hard with the centenary here to put together a sobering reminder of the price our forefathers paid for our freedom today. This is a truly remarkable exhibition. How long did it take to put it all together? Incredibly, it took about eight or nine months. So about the same length of time as the men were on the Gallipoli Peninsula. The giants are just amazing. They're so lifelike. How did you make, actually make that happen? How did it all come together? Well, really, thanks to Richard Taylor and Weta Workshop. So the Te Papa team and our historical director did a great deal of research. And um, Richard Taylor and his team cast actors who resembled our men and our women and used 3D modelling. To, um, to create these 2.4 times larger than life sculptures. And then every little stitch on the men yeah. um, is, is scaled up as well. What we've done is really um, take cutting edge um, media, yeah. but what we've done is really blended that with the best of the museum world as well. And I think the combination is so dynamic, it's so engaging. Yeah. and. You just see visitors just truly immersed. It's a really immersive experience. And what we're really interested in here at Papa is connecting our past to our present and our future. And to really, I guess, be doing a bit of a 360 degree yeah. look on culture and society and where New Zealand is um, in the world. A walk around the exhibition is insightful into the journey and the challenges these incredibly brave young men took on. But it's also a sobering reminder of the price that generation paid for our liberty today. Te Papa Tongarewa loosely translates to treasure box, and that's exactly what this museum is. It is world class, and I've never seen anything quite like this Gallipoli exhibition. It's touching, it's informative, it's educational, it is something you must experience. If you're coming to New Zealand, make sure you get down here to Wellington. You will love it.